Hi all, welcome to TechBox Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I am going to teach you how to write a simple program in Python. Let us start with how to create a new file. This is the Python shell which we are uh, viewing now. And uh, now to create a new file, you have to move on to File and click New File. Here you can see one more window getting displayed. This is an editor where you can type whatever uh, commands you wanted to give and then save it using file save option here the name of the file should be given for example if it is sample sample.py must be given and save button must be pressed after you are giving the name now i'm going to open already uh, created file for that you need to go to file open here you need to select which you need to open this is a file i wanted to open and after selecting that i'm clicking open which makes you to see the program written um, so this is a program which I have written it is going to obtain the three subject marks and find their average which is given here already it is nothing but a common statement and each and every program you will be having something called common statement common statement will not be executed by the compiler or interpreter uh, it it will it is just for an information of what this program is going to do it is preceded with the hash symbol in C C++ it will be preceded with the two slashes and here you can see it is preceded with the hash symbol so here uh, the interpreter is not going to consider this at all for uh, for correcting the errors and now let us move on to the program uh, there are, there are uh, some lines with mark 1 mark 2 and mark 3 these three are called as the variables or the identifiers which are going to hold the value which is stored in the right hand side we are having mark 1 is equal to float of input of enter physics marks we will be getting the input for physics marks here for getting any input from the user you need to use a function called input here input is being obtained from the user using this input of enter physics marks here this function displays enter physics marks text on the screen which uh, which is an information like what you are going to enter and after as soon as the user presses some number uh, that will be taken as the input and that number will be converted again into a floating point number suppose i am having int instead of this float int are all called as the data type uh, here int means it is not going to have any decimal point number it has only the whole number part alone if it is a float number a floating point number means if I am giving 45.67 as the input it will be as such taken as 45.67 if you are giving as a float a floating point number if it is an int number then it will be removing that uh, 0.67 whatever number which is uh, there after decimal point will not be considered if int is given and float in the sense uh, in the case of float, uh, uh, the whole 45.67 be considered along with the decimal point. Uh, so that is how this works. So input is obtained from the user using this input uh, function. And again this float function is going to convert whatever input is given uh, into a floating point number. So now why the conversion is required? It is required because uh, uh, whatever input which is obtained from the user, it will be in the form of a string or text. Suppose if I am uh, uh, if I am not having float here, uh, if I am entering 45.67, it will be considered as a string only. Uh, and it, if we are uh, trying to add all the strings together, it will join the string and produce you with a new string. It cannot be added up. So in order to convert the string into float, we are just giving the float function here, and inside that the number will be given. Uh, and right uh, the same way uh, mark 2 and mark 3 are also written and so at the end of these three statements uh, the uh, variables mark 1 mark 2 and mark 3 will hold the value of physics mark max mark and chemistry mark respectively uh, then after that uh, our basic uh, uh, need of this program is to find an average uh, so we are going to total up all these marks and uh, divided by 3 is going to give us the average. After dividing it by 3 we are uh, again converting it into float and storing it in AVG. And then we wanted to print whatever uh, we have got as the input and whatever is there is the output. So we got the input as uh, mark 1, mark 2, mark 3 which is nothing but uh, physics marks and chemistry marks. 
so we need to display all these uh, in the same line uh, so whatever we need to display can be given in this way with a comma separated in between so the, this is a text which will be appeared uh, uh, whatever we are giving as a uh, text it will be appeared on the screen and with continuation of uh, which will be mark 1 mark 2 and mark 3 values and then average which is there is a uh, result which we have found out which will be displayed using this print statement at, and at the end of the average we need one uh, percentage symbol to be displayed that is why we are having end in order to know more about the, this print statement you can move on to the previous video which is there in the uh, description box and uh, now uh, let me explain you how to run this program and see the output here we must first save the program now go to the run option and click the run module instead you can directly click for f5 uh, shortcut key to run this program after pressing f5 or run module you can see the output enter physics marks so the first input whichever is asked in the program is asked initially i'm entering the physics marks as this and chemistry marks as this and my sorry it is a max mark and now the chemistry mark is this now if you see i have just given an integer number 90 but it is taking it as a float a 90.0 because i have converted this integer number into float it is considered as a floating number now you see the average it is also there in floating point uh, format with the percentage symbol now let us do some changes in the program and see I want the average to be displayed in the integer as an integer number itself. Now let me save the program and run it. I'm giving the same marks. See the, the numbers which are there after the decimal point is not included in this average because I have converted the floating point number into an integer number. So this is a simple program written in uh, Python. Uh, with this you should have understood uh, what is the meaning of a variable, how to assign a value to a variable and what is the necessity of converting an input which we have got from the keyboard into a floating point number or integer number. These are some data types. And uh, with this uh, we are coming to an end of this uh, video. Let me explain you some of the input questions. Uh, uh, how to find the output of uh, some uh, program written uh, in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel uh, so that you can get the notification as and when the videos are updated. Thank you.